everybody on Facebook. I've got a really special announcement. I'm here in uh, a, a very uh, nice part of Barranquilla, Colombia, and this right here is the house that we believe God wants us to rent for our women's shelter here in the city. Uh, we've looked around at many places and we're just amazed at how this house has everything we need. Uh, to begin the shelter. It has six bedrooms. It has uh, room for office, for counseling areas, uh, living areas, and it also has a meeting room in the back uh, that where we can have our trainings and seminars, and it even has some parking, and it has an area for children to play. Uh, it's also, surprisingly, just a half a block from uh, a women's hospital, uh, which is amazing. And so we really feel this is the, uh, the facility for us. And the really cool thing is it's on Calle 61, which is so cool because Isaiah 61.1 is one of our theme verses. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He's anointed me to set the captives free and to bind up the brokenhearted. And this house is right on Calle 61. So I want to make a special announcement that we are beginning our fundraising uh, to raise the money to rent this house for the first year, and we're going to need $18,000. So I'm asking all of my friends and partners to pray about how you can partner with us. Uh, we're going to need to raise this money right away. And so if you could share this video with your friends, I would love it if you could do that. And you can just go to our website, themordecaiproject.org and you can uh, make a donation with PayPal. So please pray with us about this. Uh, this, this is, it's a very urgent time for the women of Colombia, women of Barranquilla. There's already been 12 women who have been murdered by their husbands in the first few weeks of this year. And women are really suffering in serious situations of domestic violence. This is gonna be a place where they can find healing. It's also gonna be a place where we can train uh, a, a small army of counselors to help these women who are struggling with abuse. So thank you. Please pray for us, and I hope to hear from all of you soon. Thanks a lot.